Hi everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and this is a Project Life process video using the Common Ground documentary kit from Studio Calico and I'm also going to use some of their new stamps. I'm going to start by picking out some cards and the cards this month are perfect for that transition between summer and fall so the colors are beautiful and they're a little bit muted but it has some like darker richer colors like the navy blue as always i'm going to pick my title card i have a filler one and one for my journaling i'm gonna be using this one for my title card and I wanted to use one of these tickets to stamp the dates and the one that says document was perfect for it and instead of using numbers I'm going to use the alpha stickers to write week 41 this stamp is also from Studio Calico this roller date stamp and I love it the font is really pretty the size is perfect and I think I got it in a sale it was like either three dollars or one it was a really good deal also if you haven't seen my video of the subscriber mega sell sell that they had for add-ons and you know subscribers you should check that out it was a bunch of labels I what can I say I love my labels and this is one of the stamp sets from this month and every month when they release a kit and they do the sneak peeks, they add some ink, st ink stamps that might work with the kits. And you can see them in their sneaks on Instagram. And one of the colors was mustard. I think lemon zest would have been good too. Uh, I have a bunch of the Studio Calico Color Theory ink pads. I am missing... I'm missing very few compared to what I already have but one of them is something blue I believe and it's almost like a navy color it's really pretty and I'm obsessed with this alpha I just love the font and I love the color I love yellow and I think yellow is my way of keeping some brightness quote unquote within my fall pictures the progression of the photos is that spring trends to be a little bit more bright there's more green and then summer comes and it's even more brighter and then during the fall it gets a little the colors get darker and richer and more warm because of the weather and then winter comes and everything dies and all the pictures look <laughs> dark which can make a project like december daily look sort of sad i'm very lucky that i get to take many pictures of lights so it doesn't look as sad i love that sticker sheet with the october stickers the round stickers that is one of the staples for this year every year they have a way of adding the months to the kit last year were wood veneers the year before that it was these big circle stickers that had um like dec for december and stuff like that and that was one of the kits that i shared in my last video it's absolutely beautiful I love it so much and I can't wait to use it in my December daily I am almost done printing all my photos I printed so much this weekend my printer will explode but everything's working out perfect one of my favorite items from this month is this packaging now the packaging instead of having uh, zipper pouches because of costs of everything they're adding these cut aparts inside the packaging and this month is all of these fall related you know common down chilling words and it's perfect like i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this and i love this stamp set it's six by eight it has uh the alphas but it also has this 
rectangle that you can also stamp in any color and it has a bunch of little uh, phrases that you can stamp on top of that square so there's a bunch of good ones and it's a it's a great staple for pro uh, project like project life and I'm here I am documenting I got for my anniversary one of these uh, I'm not gonna say the Swedish name the Flotchen Robin I, I don't know. I'm not gonna. I already ruined it. I think that's enough. Swedish people have suffered enough with my pronunciation. I'm sorry, Sweden. And um, and I love this backpack. It is. It's worth every penny. And I love that I get to keep the tag and also the backpack came with a little insert that I was able to put in the four by six pocket on the right and i'm just trying to add a few more details i'm not going to glue down the tag because i want to be able to lift it and see the price and other details of the materials and stuff like that and this year in 2022 which it was last year I started my tradition of decorating my holiday bookshelf and I started with Halloween and it's been a lot of fun. It's changed a lot from last year to this year and it's been very interesting to see and I just love this new edition. For many years I moved a lot because my husband was in the army. So moving a lot of holiday items seems like a hassle to me. It was very annoying to move the few things that we had. So I couldn't imagine moving totes and totes of decor. So this year, since I moved into this house, I've been a little bit more free with, okay, let's decorate it. Let's feel, fill it with things that we love and I'm all about it. And I love these tickets. They also come in the Traveler's Notebook kit. And because I'm a guest designer for this month, I got both kits. So I'm excited to use the heck out of those tickets. And they also, the kit comes with these uh, little chipboard phrases that in my opinion look like book spines, which is perfect for this. And I also would have liked to take a uh, dauber and maybe add a little bit of black in there to distress it a little and also make the phrase pop a little bit more. And this is what I've had this year and this year I eliminated some kids books. Um, we get the Pusheen box so they have been including some Halloweeny fun stuff to add. You know, I added lights to it, so it's been a lot of fun and I'm loving it. And I love again that stamp I'm gonna use so much. The title of this is Cool Story. And I like these stamp sets to have the blocks and the fillers too. I would like to try those ink pads that have like an ombre color of an analogous family that looks really cool too. Or you can use it without the, the block and it works perfect too. And this is my backyard and I love my backyard. Every year I take pictures of it. This year I haven't because I feel like I overdo it since we moved here but it has been changing progressively you know with added fence they added a trail uh it's it's been a lot of fun to see how it has been changing and i'm gonna glue this down but then i'm gonna come back and add more of those circle stickers that honestly the first that first documentary kit that i had i still have only eight left i use it so much it's just that I love to create these little clusters of little word stickers washi tape little stickers and these are just the perfect mix between a washi tape and uh, like a cute little sticker 
and I also like to take like different points of views and photos I either focus on the trees or I focus on you know we have like a little fake pond for pond whatever I don't know how you call it and sometimes I take it from the perspective that shows that a little bit more I'm obsessed with this star stamp I'm gonna use it everywhere and I've rediscovered my love for this gold impact ink pad it's very old you can't find it which sucks it's so good and I love to add little staples sometimes I worry that in the future what if they get like rusty but I can't focus on that I part of why I do this is to play with paper and you know as a creative like out you know but in the future I, I don't think people will care hopefully and this day this week I became a grandma of little plants by the way the plant is dead now <laughs> I promise I do my best it's just that my best sucks when it comes to plants I'm good at other things but uh, it's just hard for me to deal with plants I think that back at home it was so easy to grow plants because I grew up in a in tropical weather everything grows there and then here you have to like pay attention to it and I'm not good at it and even when I pay attention to it then I drown them or I do something wrong I don't know And I love that there are so many different words, but at the same time, there's a nice amount of repetition between the words. And a bunch of them are not really um, full at all. So I might try to grab a few of these and add them to my December daily pile. Like, it's not big enough. Like, I don't have a full cart of December daily stuff, but I always like to add that. And here I was just trying something with the flower and at first I didn't like it but then after I was looking at the process video I actually enjoyed it quite much. Uh, this stamp set has some buildable flowers so you can add the stem, different types of flowers and of course it has other elements and phrases and this is when these ink pad become like really handy and they stamp really well on photos I have a full video on stamping of photos it's a December daily video but it's very informational it's just a good ink for photos and I also like to point out that I use the glossy two paper from Canon the yeah the glossy two so it absorbs the ink really well this is just a picture of my oldest kid and this is the picture of the plant how it looked before I killed it uh, one minute of silence for this poor plant that I apparently drowned when <laughs> when I took it out of the pot the the roots were like rotten from having so much water <laughs> so now I I'm trying a little better I think that I might be able to like revive it but I was very proud that it grew a little and it actually grew quite a lot and then it was falling to the side it's the it's whole thing uh, and I'm going to use this stamp set to write the word grow and I love how these block alphas stamp they're so good I always make sure that I use my eraser to get rid of that sort of plastic layer on top 
that new stamps have give it some grit that way it can pick up the ink really well so I erase I pick up the ink and then I clean it with uh, Lon Fong chamois which is almost like a sham wow you can also use a sham wow I I took one and I cut a piece of it and it worked out just fine. It's not as good in my opinion as the Lawn Fun Chamois because it's not for that, but it still works. And I keep it out of the frame because it looks gross, <laughs> but it's in a photo box, one of those iris boxes that is a six by four. However, never like close it in because it's going to get like, it's going to smell gross. So let it dry and then you can close it in. And I keep it with my favorite stamps in a drawer in my desk. And here I'm going back to that layering with the dots from the documentary kit. And it's funny because I picked this because it had a floral-ish sort of background and then I went ahead and covered it. <laughs> but you can still see it a little bit. And that black just stamp, so beautiful. So this week I was watching uh, House of Dragons and it was that week where... Um, Kings Valeris was uh, Viserys, sorry was just dying in my, uh, honestly I was convinced that the actor was dying and um, people were filming and I'm like that is rude he's like dying but he's like a young normal person I was so convinced he did a great job but that's exactly how he looked so that's one way <laughs> to document the stuff that you're watching to use memes and i'm going to use the tombow um twin tone dual tip markers to write my journaling i'm going to use the fine tip part and i love to add my journaling in color so it's very convenient to use these in the cards i don't like to use them when i use matte photo paper when i print my own cards because the tip will pick up the substance that is on the surface of the paper and like clog it and ruin it so just so you know <laughs> and again this is another stamp set that you can layer with the shapes and the stamp the, the stamping that goes inside of it and it was a fairly simple layout for me which is strange just the photos were really busy too they had a bunch of different elements uh these bookcase photos tend to be quite busy so pretty sure that was a thing too but still i added a bunch of stuff i stamped a lot and i'm loving the stamps uh let me know what was your favorite part and at the end you're gonna see that i'm gonna pick out this card that came with the backpack so people can see it in the future which is something that I love to add current packaging current advertising because we will be able to t track these trends in the future I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I hope you're having an awesome day bye <laughs>